Hey guys, welcome back. Let's make a DIY smoked sensor with Arduino. Hey guys, welcome back. Really glad you could join me today. Today let's take a MQ2 smoke and butane and LPG sensor and let's hook it up to an Arduino. Uh, I'll post the data sheet and the link to these down below. Also, I will share the code that I use here. It's not going to be fancy, guys. We're just going to whip something up and get this working. But the basics of it are is a heated gas sensor, the MQ2, on a breakout board. These are uh, pretty cheap from eBay China. And uh, also, we have a trimmer pot here. We have 5 volt in, a digital out, an analog out, and a ground. Really, really simple sensor here, guys. Let's go ahead and let's hook it up to an Arduino Nano, my favorite Arduino variant. Just love these. Let's fire it up on the breadboard and uh, maybe hook it up to an LCD. Through the magic of video editing, I won't make you wait for the whole assembly here. Basically, all I've done is hook it up to our Nokia 5110 LCD display. These are the old cell phone displays that I buy by the dozen. I love this display, guys. We've just hooked our analog line, our 5 volt, and our ground up. Pretty basic, not much to it. This sensor does draw a lot of current, so uh, buyer beware. You probably want to power this separately. I've done it from the Arduino onboard 5 volt. I wouldn't recommend that. And uh, let's go ahead and fire up some code on this. So let's get this going. Uh, I did a splash screen there, pretty basic. Right now it's going to calibrate to the sensor and uh, it's going to get a resistance value so it knows what to do with it. You can see all this in the code guys, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I didn't examine the code extensively so I can't vouch for how well it really really works over the long term. Truth be told guys, what I found this sensor is not suitable to my application because of the current draw of it. So I'm going to be ditching this for my project, but it doesn't mean that I can't share this code and maybe it'll be handy for someone else out there. Hope it does help you. All right, we're fired up, showing zero parts per million for LPG, CO, and smoke. And let's just take and simulate this. Let's just take and feed it a bunch of butane from a lighter and we'll see what happens. There we go. Uh, it does affect all the readings here, but overall, it's working pretty good. Let it settle down in some free air, maybe give it some fan, move some free air, some good air back in there, and we're back to normal, guys. It's just that simple to hook up these MQ2 sensors up to a Nokia 5110, up to an Arduino Nano, almost minimal cost here. Uh, I'm not going to be using these in my project, but good luck if you use them. Uh, I'll probably pick these up for another project later on. I'll put them back in the bin and uh, yeah, they're just not suitable. Too much current draw for what I need for this application, but uh, I'll definitely use them at a later date. Guys, I hope this helps someone. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Take the code, make it better, make it yours, share it back. Really appreciate it, guys. If you don't mind, consider a thumbs up down below if this video helped you. It really helps out the channel, guys. Good luck in all your electronics ventures.